Hello there. About time I saw you guys. Welcome back. We're going to be doing stuff on time, coincidentally. Oh my God, puns are so great. Uh, right, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you a few methods that you might use to work out differences in times um, between, for example, in this case, we have a list of movie lengths that, or TV shows that start and finish at a certain time. And we're going to figure out how long it is and how you use a thing called modular arithmetic to uh, figure out time. So as you know, obviously time doesn't go up to 100 minutes in an hour. It's actually 60 minutes in an hour. So when you get to 60, you go back to zero. That's what you call modular arithmetic. So the idea of using that is what, what we're going to look at for the following questions. Now, the method I use is not going to be, you don't have to use that method, uh, but it might help you. So for question one, I'm just going to put numbers next to these. Right, I've gone with letters instead because I'm, because I'm a bit edgy like that, you know. So 10 to 140. Okay, this one you can probably do in your head. So you just count up. So 10, so 11, 12, 1, and then 40. So three hours and 40 minutes. Uh, we can also turn that into minutes. So you can do three times 60. So 6, 12, 18, 180 plus 40. Uh, that is going to give you 220 minutes. Okay, next one. 9.30 to 10.42. So a nice thing when you get 9.30 or, or if you get half past or quarter two or quarter past, you can just round up by 15 minutes. In this case, I'm going to round up by half an hour. So 9.30 to 10 is 30 minutes. And then 10 to 10.40 is or 42 is 42 minutes so 30 plus 42 that gives me 72 minutes now in terms of hours and minutes i know there's 60 minutes in an hour so it's going to be one hour and then to get to 72 i need to add 12 minutes Okay, so I'm going to have I've just added a tiny little clock next to my face. Um, so we're going to do, uh, they were coming useful later on. So question C, eight, eight. Uh, so we have 0, 0800 up to 19.04. So because it's a 24 hour clock, uh, that's telling us eight o'clock in the morning up to 7 p.m. in the evening. So from eight to 12 is four hours. From 12 to 7 is 7 hours, and then you add 4 minutes. So it's 4 plus 7, which is 11, and then you add 11 hours and 4 minutes. Now, in terms of how many minutes that is, you're going to do 11 times 60 plus 4 that's a very, very long film. That is 664 um, minutes. Okay, 1735 up to nine, uh, 1900. So 1900 is just seven o'clock and 1735 is 535. So the way you might think about this is you know 35 is, is a seven on, the, on here. So to go up to 12, You've gone up by 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes. And then you've reached 6 o'clock. And then you go one more hour to get to 7. So 25 minutes plus 60 minutes. Uh, and then that will give you 60 plus 25, which is 85 minutes. Or you can also just say one hour and 25. Okay, so that is A, B, C, and D done. Question E, 
1745 up to 2104. So again, 1745 up to 1800 is 15 minutes, and that brings you to six o'clock. So let's write this. Um, you may be able to just do this one in your head though. So I'm not expecting you to write all the working out like me for this specific question. So 745, 1745 to 1800 is 15 minutes. 1800 up to 2100, so that's six to nine is gonna be three hours. And then there's another four minutes added on. So all together, it's three hours and then 19 minutes. So three hours, so it's gonna be three times 60 plus 19, that's gonna be 199 minutes. And then looking at the next question, question F, have a go with these and the last two, and then I'll go through them with you. Okay, 152 up to 212. So to go from 52 to 60 is gonna be eight minutes, and then you add 12 minutes to get to 12 past. So eight plus 12 is 20 minutes. And then we have 126 to 12 past four. So we wanna remember 26 is here, we're gonna go all the way up to 60. Uh, the way you can just do that is do 60 minus 26 to work out the difference, and that's gonna be 34 minutes. That brings us to two o'clock, and then you have to add another two hours to get to four o'clock and 12 minutes to get to 12 past four. So it's gonna be plus two hours, plus 12 minutes. So that will in total bring it to two hours and then 34 plus 12 is gonna give you 46 minutes. And to convert that to minutes, you're just gonna do two times 60, which is 120, and then 120 plus 46. That should give you 166 minutes. And that is how you can work out differences in time or lengths of time. We're going to look at subtracting time now. So working backwards is not particularly, diff, diff, not harder, but just a bit of a longer method. So what is the time? 17 minutes between before 13.02. So when you're working backwards, again, you're just working backwards to 60 or 00. zero. So in this case, 13.02, the best thing to do is maybe you can draw a timeline. So I might do something like this just as a sketch. That's the time I'm finishing and I need to go back 17 minutes. Now I know that if I go back two minutes, I've gone back to one o'clock and then I need to take away, well, you can do this quite easily. It's gonna be uh, 17 take away two, which is 15 minutes. So then I can think, okay, one o'clock take away 15 minutes is gonna give me 12.45. And that's how you might do it. That's one way to do it. So I can just write 12.45. Can you now try the next two questions? And then I can go through them with you. Okay, so going through question B, you should have an answer ready. 15 minutes before 17.35. So um, a way to do something like this, because they're nice, it's nicely rounded to five minutes, is just to take away 10 minutes 
to get 1725 and then take away five minutes. So you get 1720. And then 70 minutes before 105. So take five minutes off to get one o'clock and then you're left to take another 65 minutes off. So in this case, I might do a very quick uh, timeline. So you can see I have five minutes there. Uh, and then I need to take away another 65 minutes. So I'm gonna do it by hour though. So I'm gonna take 60 minutes off first. And then I can see, I want this to, I wanna take 70 minutes off in total. So I'm gonna take another five minutes off. So 12 o'clock, take away five minutes, it's gonna be 11.55. And that is how you can work out differences. I'm gonna give you one more question, which is a bit harder. All right, have a go with this question is, uh, going to be the trickiest one that I've set you. So work out what's the time 37 minutes before 6.09. Okay, so you should have an answer. And now I'm going to go through it. So this time, a timeline is going to help. So 18.09 is where we finish. And I need to go back 37 minutes. I'm going to take away nine first to get to six o'clock. And then 37 take away nine is 28. So now I need to take away 28 minutes. Now in this case, to take away 28 minutes, I'm actually gonna subtract 28 from 60 because 1800 is the same as something that you wouldn't normally say this, but you can visualize it as 17, 60, because it's five o'clock plus 60 minutes. Now you wouldn't normally write that, but you can imagine it as that. And you're doing 1760, take away 28. So then 60 take away 28 gives you 32. So then you're left with 17, 32. That is your answer. Uh, I will see you in the next video. I hope that was useful. Smash that like button.